a quick look at some of the best Linux apps for 2017. All right, welcome back. Well, when it comes to choosing Linux apps, especially uh, beginners choosing the best ones for their specific distro, it can be rather confusing. Well, I pick four of the best apps, at least for me, using Ubuntu-based distributions, testing these over the course of last year, really over a year. And these ones, at least, seem to work the best for me. As far as recording a screen recorder, haven't had any issues with simple screen recording. It's full featured, it just works, and I have to tell you that if you're running at least Ubuntu or Linux Mint or something like that, this one at least, at least works pretty good for me. Well, next up is the web browser Chrome. You know, somebody asked me, why do I have so many damn web browsers? I'll be honest, I don't think I have a favorite one. They're all good or good enough for me. But this one for Chrome, with Chrome, works both, for me at least, it works both in Windows and Ubuntu. It never lets me down. And the one thing I like about this, it almost never crashes and it's fast. It's reliable. So that's why I choose Chrome, at least one of the best web browsers. Media files, plain media files. What can I say about VLC? I've been a favorite. This has been my favorite since the Windows XP days. Uh, it just works highly customizable it's great for both you know Linux and Windows as I said and you really cannot go wrong with VLC well after I'm done with this I need to edit this Kden live appears still to be the premier video editor for Linux it works most of the time and I can tell you that this one is my favorite. As an alternative, I would probably check out Shotcut. Shotcut is not quite as full featured. It works good, and I believe Shotcut to be a little bit faster than Kden Live in rendering. And Shotcut is also available for Windows. Well, that's it. Those are my top four picks at at least some of the best Linux apps. That's all I have for this one. Don't forget to subscribe and support this Total OS Today technology channel. Don't forget there is a poll below in the show notes. Why Windows users cannot switch to Linux. That's the poll for this year. So this is based on your thoughts and not mine. Enjoy your technology and please don't text and drive. Be safe.